Hi, my name is Ben Sayer. Today I'm going to show you how to combine two Roots Magic databases into a new Roots Magic database. So the first thing we'll do is open up Roots Magic. And then we need to create the new database into which the two uh, now separate databases will go. So I'm just going to click on this new database icon. You could also press Control N or select File New from the menu. And I'm going to call this Combined Family. I'm going to set a couple of these. These are personal preference. I like to turn those on. And then I'll click OK right here. That will create a new empty place to put the databases that I'm going to copy in. The next thing we want to do is open up the first source file that we want to copy content from into this combined file. So I'm going to click this open icon on the toolbar and then select open a file. The first one is called first source family. I selected that and then I'm going to click OK down here. So now I've got the combined family file that's empty right now over here on the right and over here on the left I have a family file that is populated with information. Now one of the things that you're going to want to do is determine the number of generations in the family file. I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. One is the visual one which I'll use on this and the next I'll use on the second source file so you can see a couple different ways. This one is a simple one. The visual one is a simple one to use when you know that the family file doesn't contain many generations. So you can see here we were set to show five generations on the screen so that I know between myself, the root person here, and these people on this side, there are five generations. So if we click over here and look at Joel, we can see there's nothing beyond Joel. And then also Philomena, we've got the triangle indicating information, and there's nothing to the left of that. So we know in this family file we've got five generations. And we're going to want to know that information for a dialogue that's going to come up when I copy people. So this one has the root person that I want to start with, which is why I started with this file first, because that's the root person that I'm going to want in the combined file. And that's a, a good general rule to follow here. So I just clicked and that root person in the tree on the left, and then I'm dragging it over. So my I still have the mouse button clicked. I just dragged, so I'm hovering over this root person spot in the new family file. And then I'm just going to let go of the mouse button to tell Roots Magic that I want to copy the person there. So we get this drag and drop dialog that gives me some options about how I want to copy things. I could copy just that person, which wouldn't really help me in this case. I can copy that person and the ancestors, that person, the ancestors, and the children of the ancestors, what is, which is what we're going to want to do here, since we're copying everything from this root person to the right on the pedigree. It's possible that you may want to do this with just descendants, and there, the next two options are for that, the descendants and the descendants and their spouses. So in this case, I want to copy the ancestors and their children. And I'll just quickly check this generations box. We checked the generation count before we went in here, so we know we have five, so 10 will more than cover it. So I'm just going to click the OK button down here. And Roots Magic will populate this combined tree on the right with all of those people that were in the tree on the left. So I'm going to close out that first source family file. We still have the combined family file open right here. Now we're going to want to open up the next file that we're going to want to combine into that. So we're going to click open and select second source family and click open. So now over here on the left we have the second source family. Now this contains some people that are not in this tree. And I happen to know that this person here, Echo Terry, is Francis Vivian Brant's mother. So I'm going to drag it into this spot right here. Now, it doesn't have to go into an empty spot. You could click that. If I were to have an entry already in this file that I, that I copied in from the first source file that had an entry for Echo Terry, um, you could still drag it on top of that. And later on, you would just tell Roots Magic that you wanted to merge that per, those two persons, the one you're copying in and the one that's already in the, the target. But in this case, there is no Echo Terry entry in here. Um, I could create it. 
but in this case it's just as easy just to copy it over. So we're going to want to determine the number of generations in this file because if I start going to the right here you'll see there are, there are more than five generations in this file. So another quick way to determine the number of generations in a file is to uh, go up to reports on the menu bar and then down to lists, click that, go to Anantafel, select that, and then click this create report button. Here I'm going to crank this number of generations up so that I make sure that I have more than enough to handle it. And then I'm going to click down here on generate report. Now this is going to be a much longer report so I'm going to scroll down here on the left until I see that the index has begun. So you can see right here that this preview picture of this page shows the end of the report and this next one starts showing an index. So then I'll select this last page of the report and we can see the last entry here is for generation 19. So I know I have 19 generations in that second family file. So I'll close out of this. So I'm going to click Echo Terry and hold down the mouse button and then drag her over into this spot where Francis Vivian Brandt's mother would go. And then I'm going to release the mouse button. And just like previously, we'll get the drag and drop menu. Here we want to select ancestors and their children again, but we want to make sure we crank up the number of generations. And if we set that to 19, we will be set. And then down here in options, if we already had had an, echo, an entry in here for Echo Terry, we would have gotten a different question. It would have said, is Echo Terry the same as Echo Terry between those two trees? And you could just select that and it would merge them automatically. Here, because we didn't have an entry for Echo Terry down here in the, sort, or in the target combined file, it says, is Echo Terry the mother of Francis Vivian Brandt? So it's verifying that that, that is really the relationship that we want to establish. So I'm going to select this box. I'm going to check it because that is true. And it says here, if you check this, Roots Magic will automatically add Echo Terry as the mother in this family, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to press OK and let Roots Magic start doing its magic by copying all those people from the second source file into the combined family file. So in this case, it copied 1,257 people, all those 19 generations. So I'm finished with this second source family file. It remains unchanged. I'm just going to close it, and I'm going to maximize this combined file so that we can see now we have the, the root person from the first family file and all of those ancestors five levels deep because we have five set here. And this is where we were lacking information from this point on. And now it contains the information for Echo Terry and all of Echo's ancestors all the way back for those 19 generations. So we've successfully combined those two databases into one and we can just close out of Roots Magic or begin to work on this database as we desire.